Hi folks, welcome to uh, Loving the Lingo Part 2. Um, as you can hear, I've got a sore throat, so I apologise. Uh, I'll try not to do too much talking. Um, but before we get into the video, as always, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're informed of all my videos as and when I do them. Um, also, please have a look in the description box below. Check out my friends, go give them some support. Um, if you want to support me a little bit more, uh, you can do so through Patreon, uh, which is a dollar a month, or you can buy some merch uh, from my Teespring store. Uh, we have hoodies, bags, cups, all sorts of products in all sorts of colours, so please go check that out and help me out where you can. Um, yeah, the, the last video, um, I'd, I'd done the uh, rear quarter. Um, I still haven't finished it all off yet. It was, I needed to get it done for the, for the MOT, so I just lashed it up. It was about... I think it was about 2 o'clock in the morning time I left it. Um, and I was going to do uh, the hole on the other side. I was just going to do a quick lash up, just so it was legal. Uh, but then I ended up finding some more work. So it still hasn't got an MOT. And we're now on the next week. Uh, I mean, that was uh, Friday of last week. Well, Thursday, I started it, like through Friday. I had the windscreen fitted um, on Friday. And it was supposed to be in for an MOT. But I had to cancel that because I found some more holes. I'll show you that in a second. First off, look, nice brand spanking new screen. It's already got fucking crack in it. Well pissed off about that. Literally four days old screen and it's got crack in it. Um, luckily, I spoke to Waterglass and they're going to do it on warranty. So I can wait till Monday to, the, to them do it. So, yeah, that's where we sort of left off. As you can see, I've just put some primer on it. I haven't cleaned any of the worlds up or anything. It's just as is. Um, I'll, I'll probably clean that up today because we've had a bit of rain and the primer is just starting to, to rust again already, so I need to get in there and clean it up. I'm just gonna rot. But let's take it around here. <clears throat> right, so. Right, this is what we're tackling today. As you can see, it's just where somebody's jacked it up wrongly, and it's just crushed it and just rotted it through. You see where I started cleaning it up? And then I was cleaning it up, I was just gonna sort of do a quick lash up, just so it's legal and solid. Uh, but then I looked back and noticed that, which I've never noticed before. So basically, there's a hole there, and somebody's just put silver shit over it. So there was no way I could take that to my MIT tester. I mean, he's a lovely bloke, and he sort of, little bits and bobs, he'll say, just get it done, Dan. But, yeah, I couldn't bring that to him. You know, it's just... So, yeah, we're going to... Uh, Get this bit done, and then uh, get the front bit on. As you can see, it's an absolutely fucking beautiful day. So I've got the uh, the doors open. Uh, that's my new puppy, guard dog. She wants to play with the sheep. You could probably hear her moaning. She wants to play, but she can't. <laughs> right, so I've had this van about a year, and I've never cleaned it. As you can probably imagine, it just has a bolt and it was a builder's van. I just took a seat out because I want to uh, get the carpet. I've got to do a little bit on the uh, jacking point. And, you know, just oh, I'm I'm not going to be welding onto the floor, but I'm going to be close. So just just for safety, to, taking the seat out, I'm going to remove the carpet. I just wanted to show you the state of it. <laughs> Look at the fucking state of that. Oh yeah, this is well overdue a clean. But I had planned on doing it. I was going to take the carpet out, jet wash it all. Uh, I've got some new seats for it as well. I've got some RS2000 seats. I'm going to make some runners for it so they can go in. No, not today. So uh, doing things so we can be legal. Get off. Right, so this is where we're at. I've got it all cleaned up and I've got it straightened up now as well because that was all like, really, really folded up under. Um, I've got some two mil plate here. It's quite heavy. I've managed to actually put it in the shrinker stretcher as well. And then that's going to go. Oh, like that. that goes up in there like that. I'm going to weld that straight to the floor. I'm not worried too much about what it looks like underneath as long as it's solid and, and strong. And then um, what I'll do is it's like I'll weld that along there. And I've made this plate as well to go up on there. Wants a little bit of pushing in as I as I weld it up, it's not too much of an issue. Um, so yeah, I'm going to literally just about to mark out where this is going to go. We'll clean clean all this shit up first. Uh, mark out where this is going to go. Um, I'll get this this piece welded on, and then I'll put a brace 
on the inner seal coming down because this is like triple skinned. You know, there's about four, layer, four layers here, but I'm going to use two mil, so it would be perfectly strong enough. I'll weld it on there and then fucking down there and everything else in there, and then uh, I'll uh, get that on and I'll start on the back. I haven't done much filming because um, I've been sort of rushing and I got carried away and I just forgot to be honest with you. Um, so this is where we're at now, sort of jumped ahead quite a lot. Um, I've put a plate. Uh, all the way across the back there nicely solid in it comes down that's two mil so that'd be nice and solid to straighten all the uh, uh, jacking point up this panel I had to put a little uh, notch in there uh, run it on the English wheel so it's nice and straight and then I put um, a little sort of flange a joddle whatever you want to call it on there so that's actually nice and flush once I finish welding in um, put a little plate just behind there because it's sort of chased up. Um, this is all going to get stone chipped, so I'll just put it behind. I'll put a quick skimmer filler in that and then I'll stone chip it. That's not a problem, but most of it's, it's pretty good. You can see I've got it, got it all clamped up. I like to get the jack in just to get it up a little bit. Um, knock these back so they're all nice and in. I'm just going to buzz all this up, finish doing that, and then it's done. Right, it's actually a few days later now. Um, this is where I sort of left it. Uh, I didn't bother cleaning any of the wires. As you can see, I've sort of got all decent penetration in, and I haven't. I started to roll the bottom edge how it's supposed to be, but then I give up because I had a look at the back, which I thought was going to be quite easy, and it turned out to be uh, a lot worse than it was. So all I've done for now is I've just lashed on some satin black just to sort of protect it and stop it going rusty and then I'll clean it all up at a later date and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll completely redo the back end and then I'll stone chip it all so yeah that's going to be pretty much it for this video it's going to be the same as the other side where it's just going to be ended abruptly but I'll get all this done when I do all the body work so I'll probably do a long video about how to do that yeah so I, I pretty much left it as it was, you know, we just at the world I'd give, give me something to clean back up, but I needed to get it uh, finished off for the MOT. Uh, so I just lashed on a plate at the back end. Uh, but basically, um, the, the inner seal is starting to grow a bit, and the jacking point is not not brilliant. So the plate on the outside has made it legal and it's strong enough, but I know for a fact it's literally gonna, it's not gonna last a year. You know, it's just just quickly done, just just to get it for its MOT. So what I'll do is I'll end up, um, I'll cut all that back end off, I'll rebuild it, and I'll do a separate video. And then when we do the body work, I'll, uh, I'll go through, clean everything up and get it all stone chipped. So that's it for this video. Um, as I said at the top of the video, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my friends in the description box and I'll, uh, I'll catch you for the next one. Bye.